Hello. In this video, we are going to be painting the little snowy church scene. I'll make sure you have your canvas out and ready. You're gonna put your paint out on your plates. For this one, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six colors. Um, green oxide, deep yellow, bright red, Mars black, phthalo blue, and titanium white. You're also going to need an assortment of brushes, different sizes, some paper towel, and a little vessel for some water to keep your brushes clean while you work. So I'm gonna get started and do the sky area. First step is to mix our color. We're going to kind of make it a slaty blue. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of black, mix it in with quite a bit of my blue here. And then I need to add some white. Stir it up. Now roll the excess off here. Take a nice scoop of white. Stir that in. And then I have a better idea of the color I have. Just gonna keep stirring. Now my hand is probably in the way. And this is going to dry a little bit darker on our canvas, so I do want to add a little bit more white. So about like that. So it's not the bright blue. You've taken that brightness out and dulling it with the black and then adding white. And I'm just gonna go in and fill in the whole background. Well, the sky area. And while I work, I'll likely kind of mix in a little bit of white. So I'll just take little bits of white, just so that it's not just a flat, solid shade. It kind of has a little variation. Make sure you're going around the church outline. Get enough paint on there that you're getting all those little crevices from the texture of the canvas filled in. You don't want any white showing. This darker color, any dark color, it is a little bit harder because it's very noticeable when you miss little bits. Lighter colors, it doesn't really show, so it goes a lot easier. It is important that while you're working, you are blending the white in. You don't want to paint it all the blue and then try to blend white in because you cannot blend dry paint. It just doesn't work. So you want the colors to be blendable. So make sure your blue is wet while you're putting the white in. like I should be using a bigger brush. It would go a lot faster. So this tree, the shape, I just put a triangle in there just to give you a little help with the tapering of the branches. So it's not like that important that you're super neat on that edge because we're going to make the bush fluffier, not the bush, the tree fluffier when we add, when we paint it. That's just kind of a guide to help you get the size right.
I should start duct taping the back of my canvas. Rattles and shifts around on my easel. It drives me crazy. There we go, got that all filled in. So next I'm going to do the snow, get my brush cleaned out. I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm just gonna paint all the snow white. So I'll all down here. I'm going to leave the path and the sidewalk area alone and just paint all this stuff white. You should be able to like overlap over your pencil line and still see it. I did no problem so you don't need to be super careful. So I'm not gonna even worry about cleaning out my brush. I'm gonna paint the path. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the blue that we made. Get the path filled in. I'm going to switch to my smaller brush, take a little bit of white, and just right on the edge, I'm going to very lightly take a little bit of white back and forth and just kind of soften that edge. It's going to blend up into the white just a little, as you see the difference. And it's very little paint on my brush. You don't want big gobs. I'm going to do the bottom edge as well. I 
dry it a little bit. So I'll just take a little bit more of my blue, just a tiny bit, just to help help it blend. It's like I said earlier, oops, you gotta have wet paint. Otherwise, it just doesn't blend. All right, that is good enough. Excuse me. Okay, next time I'm gonna go and paint my church white. I'm using my bigger brush. Kind of a medium size. And I'm just gonna paint my whole church white. You can paint right over the windows and everything. Those lines, so long as your paint is thin, not thick globs, you'll be able to see your pencil lines. If you're worried about it, take a black Sharpie and outline them, but it's really not necessary. And then you'll have to worry about making sure that those Sharpie lines get covered up later. They should be able to, but I recommend just nice light, even coverage with your paint and it's not an issue. Or just paint around everything. This takes a little bit longer. So I am going to blend just a teeny bit of blue, so I'm going to just take a little bit of blue on my dirty white brush, and I'm just going to make a really, really light, light pastel -y version of that color. I'm going to take just a little bit of that, and I'm going to brush it into the steeple area. could be a little bit darker, probably. Just going to stir in a little bit more. A little bit more of the blue. Because there's snow gathered up on the rooftop. Just brushing a little bit in. A little, maybe a little bit more defined on the edge there. I'm going to brush a little bit kind of... Oh, that why did it so dark? A little bit around the edge of the window. A little. Very subtle, very light. If it's too dark, just throw white on it. Just kind of streaking. Make a little swoop around the side of this circular window. And that looks pretty good, I think. This is a little harsh. All right. Now, let's see. Let us paint the windows in. We're gonna do a nice kind of yellowy. I'm gonna use my small brush, my little square one. Just going to use this color right here. Maybe add a dash of white just so it's not so bright. And I'm going to fill in this whole circle. And these little 
long skinny rectangles. How about the door? Let's make that red. And I am gonna just take the brightness out of that red just a smidge, just so it's not super, super bright. I'm gonna take just a little bit of black and with quite a bit of this color, see how little amount of black it takes to darken that? I don't want it near that dark, so I'm just keep stirring in a little bit more red. So it's just slightly Slightly different, slightly darker than the original red. This will probably take two coats because the red, the white behind it kind of pokes through and gives it more of a pink appearance. A second coat will fix that. So we'll just leave that be, let it dry, and we'll move on to something else. Um, let's add a little bit of that pale yellow that we painted our windows. Let's just put a little of that on the church to warm up. So, a lot of white, a little bit of our yellow, so it's just, it's like butter, really pale yellow. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of a warm, it might be too pale. Let's see what happens when it's dry. No, that's fine. It's really pale though. Make sure it's, see compared to my plate, how little it's different than white. If it's too bright, Put white on it, tone it down, and put a little up under this roof, just to warm things up. Move down the side a little. You might not even be able to see it on camera, it's so subtle. I mean, you could see it in person, but it is very, very subtle. All right, done with that. Let us do, let's do the little fence in the background. Use my small square brush. First, I'm gonna put in the poles, like the posts. I'm gonna put a little fence back there. I'm gonna put one post right about here, just to the side of the tree. And I'll stick another one over on this side. Try to make on the same height. And then one over here. Now the fun part, <laughs> making the rest. It's gonna go right across the top. And then I'm gonna do one more that's like kind of in the middle of that blue space that I've created by putting that top line. Got a little fence back there. I'm gonna take the black while I'm using it. I'm gonna just put a little line under the steeple. I guess that's what that's called. I'm gonna add a little cross in at the top. If you wanna use a long skinny brush or something smaller than this, feel free. I'm gonna use this on the up and down so it's a, a more narrow line. Little cross on the top. 
We're gonna do under the roof. Can't really get at it. Here we go. Try not to rest my hand in the wet paint. I am going to switch to my skinny brush because I want to go around these windows and that is I want to make sure my line stays narrow. If I use that other brush, it'll be a bit of a struggle. So I'm adding a little bit of water into my paint. I'm using black. I'm using this long skinny brush. I'm going to go around the circle window. Hopefully this doesn't move on me. And then I'm going to just put a plus sign through the middle to kind of put in the panes. I'm going to do around the edges of the rectangular windows. Let's see if I can find a more comfortable way. Now with a little bit of black that I have on my brush, I'm gonna stir in with some yellow and add a little bit of white. Makes this kind of murky, grayish, yellowy color. And with this color, I'm gonna put the panes within those windows. So, let me show you again. It was a little bit of black on my brush with some yellow and a little bit of white. I just use my light yellow because it's basically white anyway. So there is that. Um, one more little bit of black. I do believe. Well, you know what? Let's use this. I'm gonna just darken my ugly yellow color a little bit, just a little bit more black, because it reads gray, and that's really what we need. Nice, dark, warm gray. Then just do an outline on the edge of my church. Should add a little water. I add water just because it helps the flow of the paint. Makes it a little thinner. Makes it stretch a little further so you can get a nice solid line, ideally with one stroke. And I'm going to do the line under the door, the bottom of the building. Now I'm pretty sure that door is dry, so I'm going to put another coat on that. Same red that we added, just a teeny bit of black to. That looks better. Now I'm gonna outline this as well, but I'm just gonna make 
a dark shade of red, darker that we made. Just going to add more black. And I will throw a little water in that. I just dip it in my jar. Whatever's on my bristles, I just stir into the paint. You don't want too much water because you don't want it to drip down your canvas. But just make it a little bit thinner. Let's see, that's the best way. I'm gonna go this way. Please don't move. Oh, I put my hand in that, didn't I? I'll have to fix that. Let's see. I have a little bit of that buttery yellow color. Maybe. Tidy up my boo boo. Line back on. That's muddied. Just taking a little bit of white. still see a little, but it's not terrible. Okay. So the church is, I believe, looks pretty good. I'm going to step back and give it a, a look from a, straight on to see if I'm missing anything. No, I think we're good. Maybe a little handle. A little handle on the door. With one of your small brushes, I'm just gonna take the dark red color and just put a little, little dash, little line. Okay, so now all we have left is the tree and the little shrubbery. Pretty easy stuff. So I'm first gonna make a dark shade of my green. I'm gonna add a scoop of black over into the green. So it's like a olivey, it's not even really olivey, but maybe more like avocado. And my first, I guess I should make more. Let's make a bigger pile. I don't wanna run out. All right, that should do it. So I'm gonna just paint the whole bush this lovely shade of dark green. Doesn't have the best coverage, it's a very transparent color. But we're going to be layering on, so that's not gonna matter that much. It'll look better in the end, I promise. So with the tree, I'm gonna do things backwards. Usually I make my strokes go down. This time I'm gonna go up. And I'm gonna start at the bottom, I think. Let me wrap this around my head. Now I'm gonna start at the top. So I'll just in the middle, straight up. And off to the sides fluff it out, going upward. Do another little row. So I'm gonna work in rows. Go to the angle to the side. And by the time I get to the middle, I should be straight up and down. 
and then I'll start slowly angling the other direction. So to the side. This isn't that important right now. This is just the base layer, but when we start adding on top, it's gonna make a difference. So right now you can't really see how it's layered. But it's good practice. Before it counts, you can get that technique down. Make sure you get all the white covered. I'm just going to kind of go in and make sure I got good coverage. I'm going to dry it because it's not all the way dry and I don't want to pull off sticky paint. since it's only going to take a second I'll just give these little shrubberies one more quick coat alright so I'm going to blow that dry so I can move on without waiting Shade of green. So I'm gonna just first add a nice scoop of white into quite a bit of my green just so it's a little bit lighter. And I'm gonna add a nice scoop of yellow into that. Just to give it a slightly brighter Make two scoops of yellow. 
Here we go. So it's more sagey, less minty now. And this is where the brush strokes matter. So at the top, just start with one line and then I'm gonna make a little row. Then under that, another row. And then just keep repeating that so you've got lots of little rows. And the rows can get bigger, taller as you move down. They're kind of arcing. I want it more straight. And then on the bushes, I'm just gonna lightly on the top, I kind of leave the bottom darker. So I'm gonna do one more layer on the tree using just some white. A little white on my small brush. And I'm just going in and adding some white ones. And on my bush. A little bit kind of dabbled on the tops, a little snow gathered, a little bit more white, but just kind of on the tips. And there, I think we're done. I'm just gonna, no, we need snow. We're not done. So I got white on my brush. I'm just gonna paint little white snowflakes all over. Um, some I'll do a little bigger, so they kind of vary in size. I'll do a bunch of, dang, driving nuts. Some bigger ones. Then I'll switch it up and do some, smaller ones. These maybe could be even be a little bigger. And some smaller ones. And I use the back end of my brush to put in some even smaller ones. Just lightly tap it in. Like really little.
a few more big ones. Just whatever you're feeling. That looks pretty good to me. Lots of, lots of snow. We'll brighten some of these up a little. I'm gonna sign my name because I am done. I'll just make a, a light blue. Sign in the snow. And add a little water just so I can get my signature with one quick swoop. Let me try to squeeze it in. Squeeze it in down here. There you have it. There's our beautiful little snowy church. Very cute. Um, I hope you enjoyed painting with me. And uh, we'll hope to see you in another video. All right. Thanks.